I just saw a spider downstairs and now it's gone. I don't want to go downstairs. How's it going my fellow geeklings? My name is Scott Anthony Christie, the Auburn Phoenix, and today I want to talk to you about something that I think we all might have heard of. I'm not too sure if everyone's heard of it. Social media, yeah, I think um, some of you might have heard of Facebook or Twitter or something like that. Before I even begin this video, I'm not going to bombard anyone with like how much the social media is bad or it's affecting our life or it's making everyone antisocial. The main thing I want to address is how social media is affecting people because of how much they use it. I think it's just the way we are as human beings. I might get a bit philosophical and pretentious in this video, so you have been warned. I started thinking about this maybe last week or the week before. I was feeling really low, I was feeling really down, and I wasn't sleeping and I wasn't feeling like myself. I was feeling really angry. I felt like I wasn't achieving anything. And I started thinking about like what I was doing in day-to-day -day life, like when I was feeling that down. Let me ask you all a question. How often have you signed in to your social media accounts or chances are you're like me and you don't log out and you just open up the app on your laptop or on your phone and it's already there so you don't have to log in. How many times do you check it each and every day? I think it's just because of habit these days because we're just so overexposed to it and we just think it's natural to just go on there. It's like texts or anything and it's like, oh, has anyone texted me back? Has this person replied to my message? But the only difference with social media is we're just kind of expecting something to happen. The reason I say that is because I bet a lot of you have done this as well. How often do you just find yourself just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling through social media's like uh, feed? There's no reason for me to. Like I don't necessarily need to catch up on whoever's taking a picture of their breakfast or how many squats somebody's done in a gym. We try and go out there to find something and we may not even intentionally be doing it. But, like, chances are you've probably scrolled through a feed for so long, you've found something to comment on, like whether it be somebody's picture or somebody's uh, link to a video or even a debate. A long debate has just popped up, like, amidst all these tiny little statuses, which don't mean that much, but it's just, like, it's there. And then you find yourself arguing and arguing and arguing. But that, why? Why do we need to? I think the biggest problem with me and probably everybody else is we don't know when to switch off because I wish I was kind of like the person who was like, I'd open up Facebook and if I had any notifications, then I'd check them. But if I didn't, then I'd just close the app and do something else because it's, it's kind of like I'm waiting for something to happen. And I know a lot of people are like that too, whether they know it or not. When you've been lying in bed just trying to get to sleep and you can't and you don't get a good sleep, that's because your brain hasn't deactivated or logged out from social media because you're constantly thinking about what is somebody posting? Oh, has somebody replied to my comment? Has someone messaged me back? Yeah, it's fine to go on social media by all means. It's used for a lot of good reasons like to promote your business, promote your product, um, keep in touch with family, keep up to date with like any events that are going on near you. Yeah, it's it's great like that. But once you've done that, leave it. There's no reason for me to go on Facebook after I've checked all my notifications. Like, unless I get something else, then there's no need for me to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Before you go to bed, turn your Wi-Fi off because that way you're not gonna get any Facebook, Twitter notifications or anything like that and you won't constantly be distracted because you've given your brain an hour to switch off because that way your brain is saying, okay, I haven't looked at any feeds, I haven't looked at anything like that. I can relax and just be my brain. I could, well, your brain, because if, if your brain had a brain of its own, that would be very, very confusing. <laughs> that actually sounds like a really weird B movie. Somebody want to write that? Like I said, guys, social media is a really good thing but just try and use it wisely because don't just like be oversaturated by it and don't just try and find things for the sake of finding things. Until next time guys, I've been Scott Anthony Christie, the Auburn Phoenix, and what's your opinion on social media? Do you use it very often? What do you need to use it for? And are you like me where you're just scrolling and scrolling constantly? But until next time guys, take care, too sweet, and I shall love you and leave you.